I mean, you've been with Arsenal for nearly a decade now. Can you believe that it's been that long? Well, it feels it feels like it was yesterday when I was like only 16 and I came to the to the club and I was uh, just like mesmerized by by everything. It means the world to me, this club, you know. I, obviously, I feel like the club have given me so much. Um, it's thanks to them and to Arsene Wenger, the reason why why I'm the player who I am today. And um, yeah, not many more words are needed, you know. It's, uh, it's my family, it's my home, so uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure for me to, to keep representing them uh, week in, week out. You've won the FA Cup twice. Mm. Arsenal have won it more than any other club. Yeah. What does the competition mean to you and to Arsenal? Well, um, for me personally, it was my first trophy. Um, I think that's the one that you always keep with you and you always remember. I still have my medal in my bedroom, so um, that says it. That says it all. It's so important um, due to how the course of this season um, we haven't been at the at the level that we should have been. So now we feel that we're not only playing for for the FA Cup, we're also playing for Europe. You know and uh, the club that we represent um, deserves to be in Europe. So, is is that um, added um, not pressure, but an added award or prize? Let's say if we if we get crowned champions of the of the FA Cup. What are your memories of winning the cup against Chelsea in two thousand and seventeen? They came to the to the competition winning the league that year as well, and um, obviously they were really really strong and. Um, but I feel like Wembley just somehow feels like home and feels like that stadium that um, we're just lucky in it and uh, we always play good football. I always imagine a sunny afternoon, you know, which is like the best conditions. You mentioned that Wembley feels like home, but there's no fans this year. <laughs> so what's it like to play without them there? I have to say it's one of the worst things for me that's happened since... Um, since playing again um, after lockdown. Um, you know, the, the chance that you have to connect with the fans after winning a trophy, um, the moments you share with them, even when you're just holding that cap and you look in, in their eyes and you see those uh, faces smiling. I, I don't think there's a greater feeling, you know, and um, everything is more, more meaningful, you know, when, when we have uh, the fans next to us. So definitely it's going to be very hard for us to not have them there. Hopefully we can give them you know, in this time of like uh, craziness and and negativity, we can we can put a smile on the faces. For someone who's really into his fashion and his style, like you, do you get a say on the cup final suits? Funnily enough, the the, the, the suits that we wear in this year, I was I co-designed them with my good friend Guillermo uh, and his brand Forty Four. No. So one of the highlights of my injury, right? Because I had a bit more time and I could and I could do that. Uh, uh, and Arsenal gave me also the opportunity. So some of the some of the boys were thinking like, oh, what are we wearing? I go and buy trucks. So I was like, guys, this is Wembley. We're gonna play the final of the FA Cup. Everyone suited and booted. And then ready for the job. <laughs> oh, I love it. I feel like you're in the future. There's gonna be your fashion range, your line. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Too much pressure on me for that right now. <laughs> I have to say, the boys are looking good with it. I read somewhere you talking about Mikel Arteta. And yeah. what's interesting is that he's your friend, but now your boss. Um, you came on for him when you first made your Arsenal debut. Mikel always took me under his wing when I was here as a, as a very young player. Um, you know, we were both Spanish and we kind of had like our little Spanish crew. And uh, he was always like a big brother to me and uh, giving me advice, not only on the pitch, but outside the pitch. And when he's been at Manchester City, uh, you know, he's always been someone that has checked up on me. I've really enjoyed being coached by him. And I'm sure uh, all my teammates would say that. Uh, we're enjoying playing on the pitch. We're learning a lot, um, a whole different uh, way of coaching that we've uh, ever had before. A lot more to learn, but definitely on the right track. There is so much to you than just a footballer. Thank you. Let's talk about fashion. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've got to talk about it. Is the buzz of a shoot or a catwalk, how does it compare to the buzz of walking out on a, to a stadium, maybe Wembley or Emirates? It has similarities, <laughs> walking on the catwalk and stuff, but definitely it's not the same for me. Uh, I always say for me, uh, what football means to me, that, that there will, I don't think there'll ever be nothing that it will, it will be at the same level. But, um, you know, I feel really lucky that I could find another passion that is very rooted to to where I come from, 
and I'm not someone that's afraid of like trying new things. You know, sometimes you can be scared and and be a little bit outside the box. But I think staying in your in your little comfort zone, you never really you never really grow to your full potential. And I feel all this stuff outside of the pitch is really helping me to develop myself and um, also cognitively. And um, I feel like that really um, helps me uh, be recharged when it comes to going to training in the morning. Why is the fashion connected to your family? You said that it's so close to home. Yeah, I mean, my, my grandma had the, her own uh, little factory in Spain. Uh, my mom learned the trade really early. Uh, so there's always been sewing machines at home. So when there was no one outside playing football, I used to be there just messing around with the machines and my grandma shouting from the kitchen saying, like, you're going to cut yourself or something <laughs> with all the needles. It's just something that, as I say, it has uh, a bigger meaning that people think in the first place. Is there anyone on the team who comes to you for some fashion advice? There's been quite a few players that they've asked me for advice or they bought a couple of, uh, like a pair of trousers and they were like, oh, I don't really know what trainers to wear this week. It started with everyone kind of like laughing at me and saying like, oh, why is Hector wearing this? Why is Hector wearing that? And now it gets to a point that um, they kind of realize all, 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 all the things that I've done um, with it and, and now they're coming for advice. So I guess it's, it's worked in the long run. Hector, I know that you've decided to plant 3,000 trees for every Arsenal win. Can you talk me through the thinking behind that? So, well, the trees was an idea that, um, you know, it came to me for quarantine. Quarantine, I had a lot of time to think about things. And um, as a lot of people know, when you're a footballer, um, lots of our contracts are tied to bonuses, you know. So when you win a game, then you have a win bonus. I was thinking like, you know, um, it will be a great way if we, if actually I can spend this money or I can give this money to a project where would help would help other people, will help the planet more than it would help me, you know. We decided to uh, plant 3,000 trees in the Amazon um, for every single Arsenal win together with one tree planted. And all the Arsenal fans, the football fans that have been able to donate um, a few trees here and there, I think we're making a huge difference and... Uh, you know, I, I see it as this is just the beginning. So if you lift that trophy, there's double meaning there at the end. Yeah, we'll, 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 I think if we win, we'll plan more than 3,000, I think. I'll think about it. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.